morning. We're back. We're back. We're in Loch Madan. Uh, what time is it? Oh. So we're definitely uh, starting a little bit later than we did yesterday. I think it's still probably prime time. There's still probably going to be a lot of people around. Um, guess we'll find out. It's not quite daytime in the game. I personally prefer playing in daytime. I kind of bummed that the uh, most convenient times for me to play during the day, it has to be nighttime. I like having the sun up. I am already on my first uh, strepsil, my first uh, cough lolly, basically. <laughs> I'm anticipating my throat to start giving out again. My throat's... I'm not used to talking this much, as I have been with this series. So I'm getting the preparation in early. Uh, so like I said, we are in Loch Madame. We don't really need to do this quest anymore, but um, I did skip it last time. I'm kind of interested to go and have a look at it. And while we're going on the way, we're going to start getting our weapon skill up. So the ultimate plan is... Um, I don't know, if, maybe... I wonder if we can do this elite quest... I've never tried this one either, I've always just skipped it. I don't know how hard that guy is. Looks like there's a decent uh, path to escape. It's a normal mob. Oh, it's a low level mob. What's the name of the quest? Viren. Or Varin. Doesn't really seem to be any reward, which is a bit odd. You'd think a um, elite quest would have a uh, at least a green item. Let's go have a peek at him. There is a dead bear up here already, so maybe uh, maybe I'm not the first to arrive. Don't know why I'm. Uh, Seems like I'm in a bit of a risk to take uh, risk. I'm in a bit of a mood to take risks this morning for some reason. And oh, it's the bear. What was that guy level nineteen? Hallelujah. Let's see if we can get a little bit of information off the guy that just left. He's level nineteen, and he's killed this. Um, so he's saying it was not difficult, but he's probably also, um, on, uh, auction house steroids, which I am not. There's only one way to find out, though. First thing I need to do is make sure we have an exit path. Yes. Oh, that's probably why this one's down here. Someone's been back. Oh no, that's a normal bear. So bubble protects you from all physical attacks and spells. I wonder if that's um, fall damage as well. I'm not in a mood to take... Well, I am in a mood to take chances, but... Um, classic WoW does divine protection protect against fall damage. Includes fall damage. Cool. Um, so if it's looking dicey, we will uh, hop off here and bubble on the way down. I uh, think we have everything ready. I wonder if we consecrate here or if it's just a waste of mana to do it. Let's have a try. Good start. This is <laughs> what the hell? I'm expecting something to go wrong here. All right, he is. He's keeping up with us. He is keeping up with us. There we go. Now he's taking us. Let's get our heels off here. 
we interrupted that one. Pretty confident we're going to get the kill here, so I am going to... Oh, okay. Where did this one come from? And we don't have enough mana. Here we go. Getting my Lay on Hands ready. Let's just use it. Oh, that's not Lay on Hands. goodness they look so similar they look so similar purify instead of lay on hands and it's all over folks it's all over <laughs> to a bear well nega sister it turns out she's not immortal <laughs> It's not immortal. I'm getting a few messages. <laughs> getting a few messages. Uh, we did have plans to do a dungeon tonight. Those plans are scrapped. Nega sister will not be able to hit uh, level 20 by tonight. <laughs> well, what happens now? I don't know. Do we go again? Do we do something else? GG. Yeah, we could. We definitely would have survived that. I had my potions. I had everything ready. I probably should have just popped a potion instead of going for um, lay on hands. Well. <laughs> I will have to uh, have a think about what we do here. But uh, thanks for watching this extended episode today. It's a very long episode. And uh, yeah, not sure. Stay tuned to see what happens. The impossible had happened. Nega sister had fallen. But in an unlikely twist, as she fell, her pursed lips happened to press against her arm, giving herself the kiss of life. Negasister is back. Oh my god, what happened? I'm alive, somehow. Negasister is back. Now let's get our revenge on this bastard bear that killed us. Nah, I don't think so. We're not doing that again. Um, <laughs> I do not want to uh, do that re-leveling process again. So uh, we're going to leave him alone. Yeah, so we're back. Back to uh, pretty much where we left off. Um, I'm a little bit lower. I've done pretty much the exact same quest as before. But my overall XP is a little bit lower because I didn't have as much rested XP. Because I uh, pretty much low, no life to... Uh, not many breaks in comparison to um, the first time round. But um, pretty comparative stuff. Um, I did find a bunch of male shoulders, which I didn't have before. Not that that's uh, you know, that much. It's extra 100 armor, which is a very nice thing to have. For the most part, it's pretty much parody, what we had. And in the extra uh, time it took me to get here, I was obviously not able to do the dungeon that I had organized last night. And after my no-lifing session, we are now set up to do the dungeon tonight. I'm still trying to organize who's available Who's coming? We're supposed to start in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Still trying to work everything out. But uh, yeah, this will be um, our first dungeon. If nothing goes wrong, if I don't uh, drop dead from the, the roof collapsing on me or something. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go organize it and uh, 
see you for our first dungeon.